I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me once again. It's October 1st, 2025, and Hawaii's Kilauea, the world's most active volcano, kicked off with its 34th eruptive episode since late last year. At 12.53 a.m. local time, episode 34 burst to life in Halemamu Crater, sending incandescent lava fountaining soaring over 1,000 feet into the night sky. If you were watching the USGS live camera, you've probably already seen the fairy spectacle lighting up Hawaii Volcano National Park. Kilauea perched on Hawaii's Big Island, about 200 miles southeast of Honolulu, is a shield volcano that's been erupting almost nonstop for decades. This current series began on December 23, 2024, with episodic fountaining. Think of it as the volcano's way of rhythmically venting built-up magma pressure. By September, we'd hit episode 33, but precursor tremors started building last night, signaling episode 34 arrival. So why so many episodes? Magma chamber beneath the summit refill like a cosmic pressure cooker, leading to these weekly bursts. Past patterns, like the 1983 eruption with 44 episodes, show this could go on for months. And here's a fun fact. Kilauea has added over 500 acres of new land to Hawaii since 1983 through its flows. It might be a fun pack, but not fun for those that lost their farms and their homes and livelihoods. So what's happening right now? As of this morning, fountains from the vents in the Halimamu are hitting 300 to over 1,000 feet, driven by gas-rich lava that explodes like fireworks. Sorry to say that the episode did die down after about six hours. USGS said that the uh, lava that was shooting out was 1,300 feet, 400 meters into the air, and that's taller than the New York um, Empire State Building, which is more than 100 stories tall. Volcanic plumes could reach 20,000 feet, but most ash and pumice stay within a mile of the crater, safely inside the park boundaries. Sulfur dioxide emissions hover at 1,200 to 1,500 tons per day, with northeasterly winds pushing gases southwest over the KU Desert. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. The USGS has Kilauea at Watch Orange Alert, elevated unrest, but no immediate hazards outside of the park. No activity on the east or southwest rift zones. So flights into nearby airports are unaffected. Scientifically, these episodes reveal how shield volcanoes work. Fluid, basalt, lava flows easily, building broad slopes over time. For locals and visitors, it's a mix of wonder and caution. Park access is open for safe viewing from the Yukahuna Overlook, but stay on the trails and mask up for fog, which is volcanic smog. Culturally, Kilauea embodies Pele, Hawaii's fire goddess. Eruptions are seen as her creative dance, reshaping the land. Environmentally, the lava hardens into fertile black rock, boosting biodiversity. No homes are threatened so far, but scientists watch for any rift zone shifts that could change that. So is this just a natural ongoing process, or was it caused by the recent solar activity, or the weakening of our magnetic field, or the growing Schumann residence 
I heard that the heartbeat of the earth has been slowly growing. The earth is moaning, evidently. Whatever the cause, episode 34 reminds us of earth's raw power, beauty, unpredictable, and utterly mesmerizing. Have any of you been there to watch Kilauea's eruption? If so, put that memory down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.